Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week and I have some awesome announcements this week including an update to the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional Exam. You can now use Athena Workgroups to segregate your Athena queries. Amazon Data Lifecycle Manager now supports shorter backup intervals. You can now perform architectural reviews of on-premises systems using the AWS Well-Architected tool and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. There has been an update to the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional Exam. And the exam now covers six domains, including SDLC automation, configuration management and infrastructure as code, monitoring and logging, policies and standards automation, incident and event response, and high availability, fault tolerance and disaster recovery. And we have already released our brand new certification course to match the new exam. And it's in preview mode right now, so do let us know what you think. You can now use Athena Workgroups to segregate your Athena queries. And if you've not used Athena before, it's a really powerful interactive query service which allows you to run SQL queries on data stored in S3. And Athena Workgroups are a new resource type which you can use to separate query execution between users, teams, or even applications running under the same AWS account. And queries running in one group are not visible to any other workgroup. And you can temporarily disable workgroups, preventing users from running queries, and you can also use them to enforce cost controls. Amazon Data Lifecycle Manager now supports shorter backup intervals. And if you haven't used Data Lifecycle Manager before, it's a tool which allows you to automate the creation and management of your EBS volume snapshots, and you can now use it to schedule automated backups for your EBS volumes every two, three, four, six, or eight hours, in addition to the previously supported 12 or 24 hours. And this is great news because it will enable you to meet much lower recovery point and recovery time objectives for your EBS volumes. AWS Well-Architected Tool now supports architecture reviews for on-premises environments. And if you're not familiar with the Well-Architected Tool, it's a really cool service which reviews your architecture using AWS best practices and provides recommendations for making your workloads more reliable, secure, efficient, and cost-effective. And you can now use it to perform architecture reviews for workloads that are only partially deployed on AWS or completely running in your own data center. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answers this week were A and C, and lots of you got it right, but the person with the best answer is Harsha AS, and Harsha is a middleware consultant at Miracle Software. So congratulations to Harsha. There's a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card on their way to you in the post, and you are also in the draw to win the free ticket for reInvent 2019. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that is all from me. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.